Welcome to the iRain tutorial. This tutorial will cover how to use the iRain web interface. The iRain interface is composed of a reference map for easy navigation, options to choose a base map, an interactive map, a sidebar to choose what data layers should be presented, a search bar to look up a specific location, a pen tool to highlight certain areas on the map, and a subscription button to subscribe to alerts for high intensity rainfall events. It is important to note that iRain is strictly for real-time data. If you are interested in historical data, you may click on the Get Data link to go to the CHRS data portal. Focusing on the sidebar, we see six main sections. The map layer that allows us to overlay different political and hydrological borders over our map, the Persian CCS data, which provides us with the time the latest update of the rain data and the amount of time since. Rain layers, which overlays different rainfall data layers over the base map. Rain totals, which show global rainfall. Extreme events that track current storms in real time. The three hour rain animation, which plays an animation of the past rain data in three hour increments. And spatial query, which allows you to retrieve data from various spatial inputs. To use the pen tool, you can hold down the mouse button to draw on the map and right click to clear it. To subscribe to high intensity rainfall alerts, click on the yellow caution button. From there, choose the threshold amount of rain you would like to be notified about and the amount of time to reach that threshold amount. Then click on or enter the latitude and longitude of the location of where you would like to subscribe to, add a radius for the area of your location, then finally enter your email. You can also subscribe to rainfall alerts in a rectangle or polygon that you create or by the political and hydrological boundaries provided. If you're not sure if you're subscribed to rainfall alerts, enter in your email in the appropriate section and then press the exclamation mark button. A pop-up will appear confirming whether or not you have previously subscribed for alerts. First, we'll take a look at the map layer section. In this section, you can highlight borders pertaining to country, political divisions, Continental basins, major river basins, tributary basins, and watersheds. You can also toggle on and off the location of GRDC gauges and rain gauges. Next, we'll look at the rain layers, which consists of Persian CCS layer, the radar layer, only available in the United States, the crowdsourcing layer, the crowdsource layer allows you to view data reported by other iRain users. All iRain users are allowed to contribute to this data by reporting local rainfall information to the site. As we can see, there was light rainfall reported in Lake Tahoe, California 20 minutes prior to this recording, and there was no rainfall reported in Irvine, California 21 hours prior. The last rain layer is the rain gauge layer. Data for the rain gauge layer was provided by Meso West from the University of Utah. Click on an individual rain gauge to see recorded rainfall data and projected Persian CCS data for the past 72 hours in 3 hour increments. This data can be downloaded using the download button. Underneath rain layers is the rain total section. Rain totals are displayed in hours from 3 hours to 72 hours. When we click on 72, we can see how much rain has accumulated in the last 72 hours. The total amount of rainfall can be seen in three hour increments using the three hourly rain animation. When you click play, you can see a time lapse of the rainfall for the amount of time you selected in three hour increments. An important function of iRain is the spatial query tool. This allows you to customize the location query for which you would like to observe. Using the location query, you may click anywhere on the map to present three hourly precipitation data for that specific point. You can query by a user-defined rectangle using the rectangle tool. Or a user-defined polygon using the polygon tool. To use the polygon query, you can draw a polygon using mouse clicks to place corners for your desired polygon, like so. In addition, you can query by different political and hydrological boundaries. Here we are querying by watersheds. Like the rain gauge layer, you can download this data using the download button. With all queries, you may click on full report to view additional data including 72-hour rainfall information, 
a visual representation of precipitation accumulation, and climatology. This full report may be exported as a PDF file by clicking Export. You can track large storms with the Extreme Events tab. Select one or multiple events and iRain will show the statistics of the selected events. You may also play an animation that shows precipitation activity. This animation can be viewed as a time lapse or as an accumulation of rainfall, and the speed at which it is played can be varied. You can also turn on or off tracking to see the movement of the storm. This concludes the iRain web interface. The team at CHRS has also developed a mobile application version of iRain for both iOS and Android devices. The mobile app has similar functionality to the web version. That is, the user may observe rain totals, view extreme event data, and use crowdsourcing functionality on both web and mobile devices. The app can be downloaded for iOS devices from the Apple Store and for Android devices from the Google Play Store under the name iRain UCI. Thank you for watching the iRain tutorial.